fights um Tris McMillan. Well, here we are. We've missed a uh, big breakdown of the landline. Well, the uh, the, the first five have gone un unrecorded here, but we're back in action again. And and uh, big Danny Arthur scored the first four pointer for Barcorn, wide of the post. Barcorn strung a few sets together there, a bit of possession there, and they've gone over beside the post. And Clifford Bond here attempting to add the extras. There's the old major breakdown in the in the landline cable for Channel Nine. And no, no mistake, up go the flags there, and Clifford Bonds raised the extras. <clears throat> Long is very keen early in the game. There. Some torrid defence there, and Barkhorn's weathered the storm. So 6-0 it is, and Longridge here is going to have to bring it back. Barkey got three blokes back in this in goal area. And why would you keep kicking it there, mate, if they're going to keep catching it? I don't understand that. Big Nigel Balson on the boil, the big fella. Oh, it keeps going. Set upon there, boy, Alberts. The big fella stunned for a while, and away goes Bashford. Noel Bashford across field there, and wrapped up ball and all. By uh, Moore and Co. it was. Back it comes the try scorer, Danny Arthur. Gets out of one or two, gets up the Bashford again. Outside of Coco Wilson, cuts back inside. The big second rower, the veteran of the side here, Coco Wilson, plays it back to power. No, Wood, sorry. Those short haircuts made us throw me off. <coughs> I must look at numbers, mate. Anyway, Woods makes it to the halfway inside Longridge Territory. Crossfielder comes out of Clifford Bond. He's got Harry Butcher outside him. He's got Caulfield outside him. Darren Caulfield into a bit of a gap. Gets under one or two. Oh, take an eye there. If that wasn't an eye, I'll know nothing. Play there in dummy half. Across it comes to Clifford Bond with a little kick over the top. Young Lawrence, is it? Who's the fullback for Lawrence? Is it Lawrence? Aaron Roberts, is it? Runs across field. Still going. Dragged in underneath a good tackle by Johnny Power there. And they help with Woods and Co. Way goes more from Dummy out. They want to sweat on this fella. Shows a good turn of speed and just come back into the game late in the season here. Longridge working away in their own territory here. Set upon by the Barkey defence. I think it's uh, day bit off. And Woods it was. Way comes big Goodman. Goodman down the middle there. Set upon by Noel Bashford and Co. And that man Coco Wilson seems to lift himself this fella against the old team, the old hometown. And it gets back now to uh, Alberts for the kick. Drives it down towards Bashford. They'll have to stay away from him. They're all offside. I know whether they were 10 metres away from him, mate. We'll have to take their word for it. And Bashford there. No one, there was no one in front of him. Osman grabs there from dummy half. Cuts it back inside. Gains a few more metres and takes a tackle. Johnny Power at dummy half here. He'll play it back now. Get away from Power a bit off. Down the middle comes a bit off. Bust under one or two there. Ducks under a couple of swinging arms. And he plays it right in the halfway line. Power dummy half. Goes across to, uh, comes across to Liam Balson back inside to Bashford. And he's met by the longest defence of Ballard and Co. there. Crossfielder goes now to Liam Balson outside to Danny Arthur. Run a bit wide of the ruck, the big fella. And can't get his pass away. Fifth and last, says the referee. We must uh, mention the referee is from, uh, from Winton. Victor uh, Anderson, his name is. And a few finals in his time, this bloke. And we see Roberts come away with it. Way it comes now, across field through more. More spots in opening, tries to get around. You want to give this fella half an inch, he's gone. Oh, and he's set upon one behind then. Desperate defence. Wilson and Co. dragging down on Woods, it was Shane Woods, the main tackler. Across to Alberts, he looks for runners outside. He's got more. Oh, Moore's gone without it. What's he going to rule here? Rule that a knock back. Way it comes across field now to Goodman. Goodman looks for support, gets around one or two, still going Goodman. He's going down the try line, he's putting a touch. Great tackle there by big Nigel. Nigel Balls has said, down you go, son. Big Nigel says, come here, son. And into touch he'll go. So he, our scrum will go down about uh, 30 metres out. 31, 32 metres out from the Bark Horton line. After a good bust there by young uh, Goodman from Longridge. Put in by Balson, taken away to Bashford. Bashford cuts back inside the fullback. Grabbed by Ballard, was it? And uh, who's that over the top? Might be Lawrence or Jackson. Back it comes across field now. Picked up by Jaster, replacement player on here now for, for Bark Alden. Who's come off, mate? I've missed that. 
Bit off, wasn't it? Yeah, bit off. So Power up and dummy half away goes the easy yards there and the easy 10. Gets it 10 metres into Longridge territory. Play from dummy half there, Josh gets it away to Danny Arthur. Gets a pass out to Caulfield, Caulfield on his own. Gets through, oh, can't get through the defence though. Good defence for Longridge and more and Carl was. And great little run there for Darren Cawthorn. Back it comes across field, Caulfield I mean. And Coco Wilson ducks in the one or two, he's only caught less than 10 out. Fifth and last of the referee. Across field they go. Liam Bourne said, I'll put on the toe. Still going, he'll dive on it. He scored! He scored a try, the little halfback. A great try for the little halfback. So 10 points to nil it is. With about 12 minutes gone in this first half. And a kick to come here right near the face. We'll go back to the studio and have a play. Sing out there. Say Barky. He's made. Did he kick that one, mate? Made no mistake. So 12 nil it is. And about uh, 14 minutes gone in this first half. Yes, we've had ultralights, we've had uh, lolly drops, football drops, tear drops from the Longridge supporters. And a restart here by Longridge. Downfield it goes. Picked up by Arthur. He'll bring it out of his own area, out to the 22. Gets out to the 20 and a good run there by Arthur. Dummy Arthur's power. Well, it comes here to Jash, Greg Jash here. One of the good finds for Barkhorn this year, young Carpenter. Very strong young lad here. He makes it out 30 metres out from his own line. Set up on by uh, Williamson Co. Come to Liam Balson out to Noel Bashford. Gets it across field a bit there, straightens it. And set up on by Robertson Co. And Moore, sorry. Back it comes. Oh, there, Harry Blucher. Oh, something unusual there for Harry Blucher to knock a ball on. That'd be the first time he's touched the ball all game. One of the few times. Very unusual for this fellow to drop a pill. We'll see a scrum go down. About 35 out from the bar court line. Long with the chance here. Well, it comes there from uh, Alberts. Looks for runners, runs across field. Changes angles there, cuts back inside. But Roberts wasn't equal to it and takes the tackle. Clifford Bond and Carl was there. Caulfield chases more across field there. They set up on him, drive him back to ground. Scramble the fence here for the red fellas. Longwich here with a big Goodman there on the blind side. Tries to go to the top of his man there. Good tackle there and a good defence there by uh, Osman and Bleacher. Back he comes out of the big front row. Is that Jones here? Yeah? Andrew Jones it was, the big fellow. He's caught about eight metres short and good defence. Osman and Carl was. Way goes the Alberts. Alberts looks outside, fires out the back. They've got numbers out wide. They've got Moore outside him. Moore gives them all the ball. Moore still going. Moore will score. And a soft try, that one. Bad miss out wide, but I think you'd take it back to that bad miss there when old Budu dropped the ball. Caused the scrum, mate, and Longridge to use the pill well. And they've come up with four points in the corner.
Anyway, Albert's there. Oh, hits the post. And waved away, so 12 forwarders. A lot of tipping competitions going on around here, and the double will be paid on 13 and 13 and 5. And uh, doubles here will be paid on 13 and 13 and 5. 13 for Barkhorn and 5 for Longridge. We'll see Clifford Bonnie to restart. Drives it downtown there, and not a bad looking kick either. Forces Roberts back into his in goal and brings it back out. Gets it out towards his own 20 then. Met in good defence there by Liam Borson and underneath, uh, what's he ruled here? What's he done? Swinging over there. Yeah, the referee's no hesitation to award a penalty to, uh, to Longridge. Albert says, what are we going to do? We've got a fine touch. And fine touch he does. So a let off there for Longridge. Silly mistakes here, Barcolton. You can't afford to do these sort of things. Or well, they're going to keep tackling. And Matt Solly in the defence there for Barkhall. Nigel Borson and Coco Wilson it was. Crossfielder comes there. Albert's got runners and Williams. They set up on Williams there and drive into ground. Coco Wilson it was. And underneath uh, Danny Arthur. Back it comes to Ballard. Oh, great defence there by Wilson. Hammers Ballard into the ground. Great defence. Back it comes there, young Jackson, I think it is. Who's set up on there by Jackson Co. Albert says, give us a little kick it downtown. We're not going to play it now, half we'll play it in theirs. And that'll go dead in goal, will it? No, it's not, it's not going to. Bash, you'll have to bring it back out. Brings it out, 10 metres out. And a great run by the fullback. Gets it away from his own line. Look at Longridge here, offside. Referee, will he have a look, though? Not really. And Woods there comes across field, driven sideways. Barcourt and work it across the open side through Danny Arthur. Awarded here. He's caught long with snapping, has he? Swinging arm, was it? No, I missed that. Sorry. Anyway, I see Barker on fine touch taken away here, boy. Big Nigel balls and down the middle comes the Guysdale. Get out of me, Road. He'll play it back now. Taken by Williams and Co. across the billion balls and outside to Jash on the burst. The, the replacement forward there. Makes it into Longridge territory. Right in the cricket pitch area. Power from dummy half. Gets it away now to Clifford Bond. He's got Danny Arthur lurking wide. Gets a pass out to Corfield. Down Corfield. Oh, ankle tap by Alberts. Alberts never missed him either. But of course, uh, no one sees him. I think we're all blind. <laughs> Back it comes to Clifford Bond. Across field now to Liam Borson. I work the arms out of Bashford. They've got numbers here. Keep going, Bashford. Still going. Dar oh, falls over. Loses his footing. He's less than 20 metres out. Just to the left, the uprights back inside to Woods. Shane Woods goes across field. Oh, bounces out of Albert's tackle. Take a bit of stop in this fella. He's caught on the fifth tackle. Back it comes from Power now. Across field to Liam Borson. A little chip again. Oh, Longridge will come up with it. A little hard back dies on him. So Longridge to bring it out of their own territory. Through Williams, is it? Gains a few more metres. Dummy half here. Jackson says, where am I going to go here? And taken well by his opposite in uh, Power, John Power it was. Oh, bad miss there, Barkle come last through, Nigel Borson. Tries to go to the top of one or two of them, good defence there. Back it comes across field now, still working the blind side, Kago Wilson sends a pass to Corfield, he's in! He's in a score, have a look at that. What a pass from Kago Wilson. Have a look at this on replay. Right in front of the Longridge crowd, they're stunned to silence. Well, have a look at that great, great support play there. And Kago Wilson must have known he was on the outside of him, slipped a pass. A great little pass on the blind side. So Barkle can go ahead now, 16 points to four it is, with about 22 minutes gone in this first half. And the Redfellas there, pouring the sap in. 
What do you reckon, Joe? What, how did you see those last couple of plays, mate? Yeah, good sustained pressure there from the bark all the A grade side. A few settling rucks, and uh, when the changeover did eventuate towards Longridge, they put the pressure on with their defence. Forced the error from Longridge, got the ball back, a few quick rucks, then worked it to a set move that the boys have been working, or a set pattern play that they've been working towards for the last couple of weeks. Coco Wilson hits it up close off the ruck, draws in the, draws in the defence, gets his hands free and unloads to his support player in either the centre Caulfield or his winger, whoever happens to be there. Work like a charm. Caulfield straight into the hole and a great try to Bark Alden. Hopefully we can see Bark Alden today avenge the defeat that occurred to them at the hands of Longreach last year. And it's, it's very prominent in the minds of these players. They don't want to see it occur again and they're primed for this game today, Doug. Yeah, mate, you can talk to us. Clifford Bond's lined it up now. He's had a pretty good record with his kicking lately, Clifford. He's about six metres in from touch. He kicks it well. He struck it well. Has he got the line? He's just off to the left. Waved away, but a good attempt there from Clifford. He didn't miss it by too far. Well, we'll see Longridge now come back to the halfway for the restart. They're going into a... A reasonable sort of a breeze this first half long which they kick off now it comes down to power he turns around he looks for his runner in arthur arthur hits it up he's going straight into the defense there of uh jackson and zed was whoever was is jash cuts back inside bit of a base call there work by the forwards he's met in some good defense there by the replacement players in davies and jackson Robbie Goodge is out there now. They've had a few interchanges, Bark Alden. They're giving a few of their bigger forwards a spell, gathering the juice for the later part of the game. He gets out now to Balderson. Balderson hits it up. He's met by three or four Bark uh, Longridge defenders. They're very keen to hit this Nigel Balderson. They know that he gets some pace up. He's hard to pull down. Goes out now to Balderson. Balderson gets it out to Bond. Bond gets it out to Bleacher. Bleacher's got space out wide. He gets it onto his winger in Osborne. Osborne cuts back inside. He looked to unload but hung onto the pill. The Longridge defence covered well. Fifth and last tackle now for Bark Alden. Round about the halfway mark. Clifford Bond comes in. He jinks and bout, cuts back inside, puts a little kick through. It's going to sit up nicely for them. They force Longridge back near their own try line now. They've got to work it out. Picked up by the fullback in, Alistair Warren. Met well in some good defence there from Johnny Power and Liam Ballison. The markers chase hard again, but the, uh, Richard Moore it is. Scoots away, picks up a good 10 metres for him. He'll play it back now. He gets it out wide to... Uh, he's a hard-working second row, this young fella, um, Andrew Egan, I think it is. He plays a good, solid game for Longwich. He'll get it back now to Jackson. Jackson goes two passes wide. It's on to Dennis Williams. He cuts back inside the angle, make, picks up some good metres for the Longwich side. Eventually brought down by Harry Bleacher and Clifford Bond. Coco Wilson in there with some assistance as well. They put in a good effort, these fellas. Here we go, Ballard onto the ball. He spins around. He gets it back to Wass. Wass is into a bit of a hole, and he's crunched. He's crunched by Danny Arthur over the top. Clifford Bond underneath. Good work there from the boys. They're on fifth and last. It's now gone to Alberts. Alberts dummies to kick. He's made some space. He's into a hole. He's got support there. He gets it inside to Jackson. Jackson hangs on to it. He gets it back to the replacement player in Davies. Davies passes it to the Bark Alden men. Bark Alden comes up with a ball. Good passage of play there from Longridge, but Bark Alden equal to the task in defence. Powell now get up and play it back to Balderson. Balderson looking for some runners. No, he says, I'll go myself. He scoots from Dummy Harvey, he picks up 10 metres the easy way. And he's driven back there by, uh, who is it? The number four for Longridge, uh, Danny Lawrence. Danny Lawrence it is. Drove him back. He made some, Wayne Alberts, mate. Running on at six, I think. See, oh, playing in 16, playing, at, playing the position number six is Wayne Alberts. Played back now to Power. Power gets it out to Bond. Bond gets it on to Greg Jash. He runs it up nice and hard. And he's met there for some good defence from uh, Troy Goodman and co there from Longridge. He plays it back now to Power. Power gets it out to Bond. Bond gets it back out to Buffarther. Buffarther cuts back inside on the angle. That player was offside. Dennis Williams never made any attempt whatsoever to get back the required distance. And Victor Anderson rightly awards the penalty to Bark Alden. Clifford Bond now look for touch. The referee's decision here being queried by Mr. Alberts, the Longridge captain. But he's, no, well, he's actually pinged him for not marking up square. Bond now to find touch, kicking towards the cam draft side of the ground. Not a, made sure of finding touch, not a great, great advantage gainer for the side. Picks up another five or six metres with his kick. Comes on now to Robbie Goodger. Robbie Goodger hits it up nice and hard, picks up a good ten. They play it back now, they've got six tackles to work with Bark Alden. What will we come up with here? They come on to one pass off the ruck now to Balderson. He hits it straight through the middle of the Longridge forward pack there and he's eventually brought down by Ballard and Williams. He'll get up and play it back now to Power. They've got 
Runners set both sides of the ruck here, Bark Alden. They go two passes out now to Danny Arthur, and he's pulled down by Troy Goodman, who walks away from it. And Davies underneath, I believe it was. Comes out now to Balderson. Balderson takes it towards the line, tries to jink. Half slips, gets through a bit of a half hole again, and he's still running, Balderson. He's eventually brought down in a good tackle there by the Andrew Jones and Ballard. Davies is in there as well. Comes right again to Clifford Bond. He dummies to one. He cuts it out now. He gives it on to Shane Woods. Not a bad ploy there from Bark Alden. Long which equal to the task in defence though. He'd come back now to Bond at dummy half. He gets a one pass off to Power. Power puts up a good bomb. It's not a bad kick either from the young fella. Under some pressure. Oh, hit well there by Johnny Power. Put the kick in, chased it well. And he's put Jackson down in some good chasing there. Good defending. Good work there from the marker again, from Harry Blucher. And now they go one pass wide, Longridge. Blucher underneath again. They're working well from the marker position here, Buck Alden. Longridge go two passes wide to Goodman. Danny Arthur comes in with a good shoulder charge underneath with Clifford Bond. Not making a lot of ground here, the Longridge runners. And here we go, there's Young Moore. Goes for a run from dummy half, picks up a good 10. Starting to straggle a bit, Bark Alden. They're not numbering up all that well in defence. They've got the numbers out here, the right-hand side, and they go that way. The ball's now with Alberts. He cuts it back inside for Lawrence. He pops it back again for Alberts. Alberts throws it back inside to no one. Jones goes back to pick it up. He's lost it. He's left it behind. The Longridge players offside. Balderson's picked it up, but the ref referee had blown the whistle. He's awarded the changeover. Unfortunate, but Bark Alden still get the ball. Comes now to Balderson. Balderson gets it to Harry Blucher. Harry Blucher looking for a bit of a hole to run to. Can't find anyone. Tries to fend off Lawrence. Lawrence puts him down. He'll get up now and play it back to Power. Power's about, uh, they're about 25, 30 metres out here. I think they're about the 20 metre line there now after that ruck from Rossi Matthews. They go now one, two passes wide to Greg Jash. Jash hits it up nice and hard and he's met firmly there by the Longridge defence in, uh, can't think of his name, too bad. Anyway, comes back to Power. Power gets it on to Liam Ballison. Ballison goes for a bit of a scoot. Half, oh, nearly got the hands free there. They had the numbers on the right. They've still got them there. They're lined out, Bark Alden, but they look like they're going to go to the left, and they do. Goes on to Bashford now. He puts in a little chip again. Puts the grubber through, but it's been covered well there by the Longridge fullback. And a good chase from Tony Bashford. He's pulled that Longridge fullback down there. Alistair Warren trapped him in his own end goal, so we'll see a goal line dropout now from the Longridge side. Good sustained pressure here from Bark Alden. We've had about 30 minutes of the game gone. The score is 16-4 to Bark Alden, and we could see more points from Bark Alden yet. Good sustained pressure here. Longridge holding out to it thus far. The kick now makes it about 45 metres on the fly. Danny Arthur takes it and charges back towards the line. He's brought down by Jackson underneath, and the number two for Longridge is Aaron Roberts. Plays it back now to Power. Power, a bit of a... Bit of a scrappy play of the ball, but they get away with it. It's out the woods now. He scoots across field. Still running across field. Beat a couple of tackles. Didn't make a lot of ground. He'll play it now just towards the left of the uprights. It's back to Balderson. Balderson goes to run from dummy half. Gets it out to Matthews. Matthews gets it out to Osborne. Back inside to Bleacher. Bleacher steps. And he's over the line. No, he's short of the line. He's just short of the line. He's over. It's a try. Another try to Mark Alden. Another four-pointer, and it goes to the skipper of the side, Harry Bleacher. That takes the score to 20 points to four with a kick to come. It, it had to happen. Had to happen. Some good work there from Bark Alden. They'd worked it to one side of the field and quickly got it back to the other side of the field. Some good sustained pressure there. Longridge, you would not think, could hold out for that much longer, and as eventuated, Bark Alden came up with a try. I'll hand you back now to Doug. My voice is wearing very thin. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jay. Yes, he's very stunned, mate, the crowd in the long end of the ground. Yeah, praying for rain, I think, or the ground to open up. Unfortunately, the Gwenas are on top of the soil here today and run in all directions. 20 points to four with a kick to come and about nine minutes to go in the second half, in the first half. Go you good things there, saying. Even, even Johnny the Gawenner has shed his skin. And Clifford Bond's not impressed with that, he walks straight away. 
Uh, about 20 points to four it is. Four tries to one. Back to Rossi Matthews. Matthews having the kickoff, brings it back. Oh, it gets out of one or two. There's a bit of don't argue there from the big Roscoe. Hayward there at dummy half. So a few interchange players on here. Liam Borson gets a runner and Rossi, uh, big Rob Goodger. Slips a pass out the back to Bash for the combined and well, these fellas. Years ago in 16s, they call these two blokes the bookends. There's the hunt in packs, these fellas. Back it comes across to Bashford. Outside of Clifford Bond. He's got Caulfield. He's having a blinder to this Caulfield. Slips a pass out the back. What's he rule here? The rule has gone forward. The ref referee stole Victor there a few things, and Victor said, Well, you have to shut your lips, mate. Uh, I've got this here. We'll see a scrum go down. Right on halfway. He's ruled it flat and forward. Young Troy Goodman there is fairly injured. They've laid him down on the sideline. The referee, Malcolm's just become the sideline. They're trying to crush Malcolm in that scrum. He won't get in there. He won't take the weight. The referee says, hang on a minute. Wave time on him. Put in by Davies. Taken away by, uh, who's that fellow, mate? Roberts, is it? Yeah. Roberts is set up on there underneath by uh, that man. Clifford Bond. Ross Matthews there, they work it through the open side long reach. Down the middle he comes, the big fella. And underneath there is uh, Bashford. Over the top is Ross Matthews. Crossfield of Davies. Crossfield of Ballard. Ballard ducks under one there and finished off by Noel Bashford. Good defence. Backfield, it comes to Davies across to Alberts. Alberts outside. Oh, he's lost the ball again. More picked up by Caulfield. He's in a good game, this young bloke. Pound for pound, one of the best on the paddock. <laughs> Crossfield comes out a big Nigel Borson down the middle he goes he kicks that that leg and hip into order look out Crossfield goes out of Liam Borson his brother Crossfield of Tony Bashford they work the open side cuts down to one or two Ballard caught out of position again outside Harry Butcher he claps on the pace oh ankle tap from behind desperation there Shorty Davies it was in desperation Cross it comes the open side through Noel Borson and he's wrapped up underneath Oh, no, old Bashford, I mean. From dummy half, Hay Hayward gets it away to Liam Borson. Clifford shows the ball to one or two. Cuts a pass out of Woodsy and it goes to no one. It'll go into touch. And we'll see a scrum go down. Anyway, we see a scrum go down. Longish take it away through Davis to Alberts. Alberts works uh, on the full back and Warren. Warren's wrapped up underneath. Darren Caulfield it was underneath. And a good defence there. Across the open side. This still goes through Moore. Oh, Moore's having a shocker. He's having a shocker. This fella. Look out.
I'm giving two ears, he hasn't heard the whistle either. Yes, mate, well, that'll be, have to be the point of the year, this young player. Open the open side here. Here it comes to Clifford Bond across field. He's having another scrum here. The Harry Butch and a cut out pass. And a good tackle there underneath for Longwich and Lawrence. The referee's called him offside. Who's he real? The penalty to Bark on there. I don't know what happened there. I missed it. But uh, obviously, Albert wasn't too impressed with it. He said a few words to Victor Anderson. And what a look Bark on going to do. Fine touch here and put more pressure on. Virtually on the stroke at half time with about less than five minutes to go. Bark on. On the, on the attack here with a tap move for Hayward. Hayward finds out the gallop and climbs out. Nigel Borson goes over the top of one or two. Stands in the tackle there. And they can't put in the ground. He'll play it back now. Hayward a dummy half. Goes on his own. Hayward still going. Hayward goes for the pace. Oh, and he's caught a metre short. Very close to the line. They want it here. Crisscross move. Watch this one. Back to Josh. Oh, he can't get through there in the longest defence. He'll play it back now. Back it comes from Hayward, back to Balls and Nigel Balls and the big Clydesdale can't get through. The big fella, Mr. Q-Link himself. He'll play it back now. Hayward from Dummy Oh, he's been not, should be back to first. Should be back to first. No, we'll have another six at him, Bark Alden. The long reach corner in this scream at him, Victor Watt. Right, he's dying through, he could have scored. He scored the big fella. Big Nigel, I think, scored her. Big Nigel's died through the centre there. The big fella knows exactly where the try line is. So 24 points to four it is. With about two and a half minutes to go in the first half. Longwich in the huddle there. Their supporters stunned. Shocked there'll be no Longwich leader next week. There'll definitely be a strike. The under 12s will take the full back page, along with the under 12s and the under 14s. But unfortunately, there was a bit of a dot after that. And Clifford Bonnie that takes his time with this kick here. 24-4 with a kick to come. And up she goes. No mistake at all. And Warren is to restart the fullback. Down to Bashford, Noel Bashford down the middle, he comes, still going. He's been a fine here, this fella. An occupational fine. <laughs> Bark all the name, grown and bred, this fella. Back to Ross Matthews, it comes here, the big fella. Back it comes now to Michael Hayward, to Liam Balson, to Robbie Goodger there. One of the improved forwards, this fella. Big Rob Goodger, had a good year, this bloke. Across the comes to Liam Balls, he finds uh, Bash with the fullback. Up to give his forwards a blow. Take a bit of pressure off him. Fourth tackle says uh, the referee. The big fella, fifth and last. Bit off it was down the middle. Back it comes down to Clifford Bond. Drives it downtown. Down towards uh, Roberts' wing. Oh, he's made a meal of it. Oh, and it's gone dead. It's gone dead in goal. The Tigers have got mixed mitosis. They're breaking out in sores, these fellas. They can't believe it. And a drop out will be from under the pace. Well, a bad miss there by young Aaron Roberts. They reckon when you're on a roll, anything can happen. And Warren says, what am I doing with this? I better kick it out here again. Over the head it goes. And a great kick down to... Uh, Greg Jash it is. And wrapped up ball and all there. A great, good defence there for Longridge. Back it comes the open side through Noel Bashford again. 
Keen to take it up to him, this fella. Met by the longest defence. He'll play Jackson and Co. Crossfield comes to Liam Balls and he's got runners and Ross Matthews at Crossfield goes Matthews. Slips a one over Harry Bleacher. Out the back doors. Oh, dies backwards and grabs it. No worries at all. And keeps it in play there. Albert's there, tries to put him in touch. A crossfield comes down, a big bit off the brick. And at half time, right in the struggle half time, the score will be 26 points to four. And a word from the sponsors. Joe, how would you find that, mate, those last couple of minutes? Yeah, that was a great display there in the first half from the Barkhall and Sangoanas. They're really in fine touch here today and they're out to prove that they're worthy premiers for 1994. A great display as we see them jog from the field here. Not a bad player among the Bark Alden side, I believe, at the moment. Everyone's putting in 110% for, for that Sangoana badge and for themselves. Everyone's charging onto the ball nice and hard. The defence has been first rate. They've been forcing the errors from Longwich, working it, working it to their sets of six, and really pouring the sap into this Longwich side, who I don't think really are going to be up to the task in this second half. We've seen quite a few fellas start to fall off tackles in that, uh, the latter stages of the first half there. And uh, this park all inside, they've been training hard all year for the fact that sides do tire in the second half. And uh, this A-grade side, we thought we saw a display in the reserve grade grand final here. This A-grade side are capable of putting on 50 points in a half of football without, without any trouble at all. And uh, not that Longwich will lie down by any means, but I just, I just don't think that... Uh, they're going to be able to match it with the Sanguinas here this afternoon. We might just have a blow and wet the tonsils. Thank you. Footy tab down at uh, Darrell O'Donnell's tipped the score. 38 points to uh, 12, I think I put on the board. Yes, well, I thought, you know, the side, uh, you know, they're still capable of it. And, uh, but I think the Barky side might power away in the second half. The old fitness, as you say, might be just the telling point, man, as it was in the reserve raid. These little skill drills and um, extra fitness programs that you can put together have all got to pay dividends in the end. Bark Alden will be running from the hospital or southern end of the ground for this second half. Long, long, long with your jarred up. They've got a bit of a spring in their step as they come back out onto the field. But we'll, we'll see how long the spring lasts. We've got some pretty good pile drivers in this Bark Alden side to knock the spring out of them. We'll, we'll see how they go. Bark Alden will be kicking off, Longwich will be receiving, they'll be kicking to uh, Richard Moore's wing, young Davies here marshalling his troops, picking the gaps, and uh, we'll have Clifford Bond from Bark Alden to restart, Victor Anderson checks with both captains, signals to Alberts, Alberts signals back, we're ready to go, we've got 40 minutes to go to decide who are going to be the Premiers for 1994, it comes down now to Davies, he knocks it backwards, Davy, oh, he's passed it forward. Oh, my God. Deliberately forward, deliberately forward. It should be a penalty. Should be a penalty. But we'll see a scrum. Bark all in the feed, 10 metres out. Only 10 metres away from the uprights. Had to be intentionally forward. Couldn't have been anything else. But we still get the ball, so let's see if we can put on six points. Ball is in the feed. They're working something out now. There are men down in the scrum bark all, and they've started the second half with only 12 players. Can you believe it? That's how confident they are. They thought that 12 could beat 13. Well, they're probably right. Oh, Longwich collapsed the scrum badly. Longwich didn't make any attempt at all there to hold the scrum up. We'll see how we go this time. Wallison feeds. It comes out now. Better scrum. Danny Arthur picks it up from the blind. Woods, oh, he's met some good defence there from Richard Moore. Wraps him up around the waist. Plays it back now to Wilson. Wilson gets it on to Matthews. He runs into a wall of Longridge players. Ballard underneath. And quite a few others there to drive him back. They're back near the 10-metre line now. Only five metres in from touch. He'll play it back now. Matthews to Power. Power gets it out to Ballers. And he wants it. He runs straight at Andrew Jones. And Andrew Jones holds him up around the top, wrapping the ball up. And underneath was Jackson. Good work there from Jackson. Small knock on there from uh, Power, I thought. Bark all lucky to get away with it. It comes now to the blind side. They switch it back. Matthews tries to get it back. He gets it back to Bashford. Gets it back to Woods. Woods unloads. He goes across field. Looks for a hole. He's going. He's yeah. It's a try. Bark all and pick up another try early in the second half. Two minutes into the second half. And Bark all in a good. It's 30 points to... 30 points to six. 
And it's a great start to Bark Alden in the second half. They never numbered up there in defence. Woods came back. He was looking for the hole and he used his speed and his strength to get through the gap and place the ball. He got it on the line and that's all that's required. This should be an easy kick for Clifford Bond by his standards in recent weeks. Should put Bark Alden two points further ahead and you would think from now that Bark Alden have an unassailable lead in this 1994 grand final. But Longreach do have a good habit of coming back in every game they play. We'll see if they can manage to do it here today. But this is, a, this is an ominous side ominous sign from the Bark Alden side so early in the second half to come up with come up with a four pointer so shortly after the restart I don't think you could ask for a more uh, solid a start mate than the second half of football than that I couldn't believe it myself mate, I could not believe that it just shows you mate that a winger can still get through the forwards and score tries so 30 points to four with a kick to come and the hush fell over the long reach end And Clifford Bond moves in and strikes it. No worries. No, it's waved across the face of the goal. Well, they're not going to kick goals today. They'll just score tries. And it's been a... Hasn't been a flash day. Yeah, we want them to stay on the field, mate. No, Longridge, you've got to come back with something, mate. To stay back in this game will even look like getting back into it. I'm afraid it's catch-up football from here on. He's real. you're offside. You're all in front of the kicker, fellas. Victor made no mistake there. You fellas, you're offside. No uh, penalty now on the restart by Coco Wilson down the middle. He comes a big far. He's away, Coco. He's away. He looks to support. Bit off there. Bit off on the move. About 15 metres out. 40 metres. 40 metres in one second. 40 metres. Have a look at that, fellas, for support. Quick oh, there from Clifford Bond, the He plays it back to power. Back to Nigel Borson on the boil. Bumps out a one or two. He takes it within 10 metres of the line. Power's a dummy half here. To the open side through Liam Borson, he goes in his own, the little half back. He's nearly through a gap there, closes on him. And desperate defence for Longridge there. Play it, they said. And power goes from Dummy Half. Oh, mate, pulled up a metre short. He'll play it back. Good defence, desperate defence for Longridge. From Liam Borson it goes. He goes in his own, the little half back, fires a pass there to Coco Wilson. He drives to the line. He's in. He's in with another one. Have a look at this. The man, the man from the Thompson says, you won't get over me that easy. And Coco Wilson says, come here, son. Lose blood as well as points. And Coco sort of resented that. He just hit over the top in the tackle. And he's awarded the try, no worries at all. So 34 points to four it is with a kick to come. So 34-4 with a kick to come. So the year of the same winner. It's about time he kicked one. Moves in. Strikes it pretty well. Looks good off the boot and no mistake. He answered the call. He answered the call. 36 points to four it is. Well, it, These new Tigers. Right, fellas, we've, we've, we've just found out an extra time. Canterbury are just 
lost it there over the try line with Polamanta. It's still 18 all. Now it comes now for the restart. We've got uh, Dave the Brick. The Brick bit off down the middle he comes and he's wrapped up by the long wrist defence. The referee says, get off him, I called you to get off him. He just won't get off him, only whatever yap, I'll give you another 10. So he finds touch, no worries about uh, 10 metres inside Longish territory. And Barkhorn can go on the boil again here. Dummy R, tap move from uh, Power back to Ross Matthews. Absorbs the hits here. And wrapped up uh, by uh, Jones and Carl was. Crossfield they go. Powers, no, he said I'll go on my own and gains a few more metres. He's taken about 30 metres out. That dummy half is Matthews. Crossfield goes, now Liam Balls in the half back. Out to Arthur. Then the other bumps out of one or two. Big, big Dennis Williams coming out second best there. I'll try someone a bit smaller. Back it comes the open side. Harry Butcher cuts out of one or two, still going. Tries to get around his man there. And taken the ground by uh, Lawrence and Coe it is. They wrap him up. Cross it comes from Osmond now to Power. Power's got the big Nigel. Tries to get around the outside of his man. Slips apart, shows the ball there. Gets inside the 20. Still going forward, the big fella. Still going. He's caught about 10 metres out. The big kite, look at the even destruction behind him. <laughs> Have a look at her. It like Cyclone Tracy. The little oh, halfback! Yeah. He's gone! Yeah! And the halfback's gone in. Have a look at that. There's only half an inch to go through. He's got through the middle here. The little halfback scored under the post. I'll start you finish <laughs> So, what's that, mate? 40 points to four with a kick to come. So eight minutes gone. Have a look at that scoreboard. Focus the old eyes on that, fellas. The crowd in the bar there. Check that scoreboard over there. 40 points to four with the kick to come. And only eight minutes gone in this, first, in this second half. Have a good look at that scoreboard. So Clifford moves in, strikes it, no worries, he'll up go the flag. So 42 points to four it is. And more to come. And with more to come, they said, there's more to this show, it's not over yet. <laughs> look at Viv, she's even doing the hula dance. Look at Vivi down here. Have a look at her on camera here, John. Get her on camera. Look at her, big Viv. Doing the boogaloo. Not the... Not, and Woods restart there and brings it back strongly. Met by the longest defence there. They come across the open side through Danny Arthur. He's on the boil, this fella. Definitely an 80 minute player, mate. Elvis there trying to in vain to top, knock the big fella down across the open side. They'll be sick of the side of this fella. Have a look at this. Oh, he's just taken by the ankles. It's still going. Still going. The big. Oh, sat in his backside. Mr. Albert. Big Nigel said, What hit me? A runaway train. A Q Link special. Away goes Danny Arthur. Slips a pass back to Wilson. Oh, they're on the boil, these fellas. Have a look at the support play here. Driven backwards there. Williamson Co. driving the ground. Back it comes the open side for Ballison. Liam Ballison to Clifford Vaughan. Outside Harry Blucher. Blucher looks for his man. Oh, good tackle there by Moore. Who puts him to the ground. Blucher plays it back now to Woods. Woods back to Clifford Vaughan. A little chip over the top, but no one's there. And taken well by the young Warren. Alistair Warren there runs it back in field. Oh, runs straight in the pit off. The brick. The brick's just hit him. The brick with ears has just run straight into him. Oh, spilt the ball. What a tackle there from the brick. What a desperate tackle. Back here to Bashford, outside to Harry Blucher. They work the open side. He shows the ball. He's still going, Blucher, out to Caulfield. Caulfield cuts back inside. He's still going. Oh, takes a tackle. He's five metres short. What a frantic pace here. Buff here, dummy half. Oh, he slips a pass to no one. Goes to... Uh, all right, Wayne Osmond comes up with it about 10 metres short. They lost ground there. Barkhorn come across field with Liam Borson. Oh, and he takes, shows the ball. Holds it up the little halfback. 
That's four tackles gone in, about 11 metres short. They brought another fossil on, another ballard. They must shake the trees to get these fellas in. Big Nigel on the burst again. Oh, he shakes off one or two. Put the last of the referee in a couple of metres short. Have a look at this, the power here. Had a little chip through, power. He plays it. He scored a try. He scored a try. Hey, great work there for power. Great anticipation there. And Longs with no answer here. And another try. An important statistic from our statistician. Bark Alden have, an, have not had to make a tackle in this second half yet. Longridge have persistently coughed up possession of Bark Alden and they're going to pay. Well, uh... Anyway, the score now is 46 points to four with a kick to come. And Longridge in there, huddling the group here, wondering what the hell hit him here. Cyclone Gwen has just tore him apart. And Clifford Bond here, easy one of his hardest ones, he strikes it uh, across the face. Hooked around there and waved away. Yes, they had a kick. Here we see Longridge to restart here. And Alistair Warren kicks restart here for Longridge. Down to that man, Coco Wilson, Mr. White Shoes. Mr. White Shoes took the ball there and set, up, set upon by Moore and Cohen and a replacement player there for Longridge. Uh, I think it's uh, Ballard, is it, I think? Number 17. Way it goes now. Johnny Power down the middle. The try scorer is going to show him out down the middle. He'll get up and play it now. Bashford a dummy half there. He plays it back now to Danny Arthur. Across field he goes. Runs away from Alberts and K there. And slung the ground by the same lake. With the help of uh, number four and Longridge and Danny Lawrence. Crossfield they come now. Liam Balls and he looks for a support outside. The Kogo, oh, it never came off. Had that have come off, the big fella was away. The referee says, play on. Wass it is who comes up with it. Back it comes from the front row. Williams gets it back from his own teammate and Jones. He's penalised Bark all He's penalised Bark all in there. Keep pointing the scoreboard, Harry. I wouldn't worry about giving him lip. It's very sad on the scoreboard. And Albert says, I'll find touch here and see what we can do. Longwich here playing catch out football. Can they cross the line in the second half? Wass cuts it out, gives it to Williams. Williams runs across field. And Danny Arthur says, come here. And holds him up in the defence there. And about 10 metres out. Back it comes across the open side. They work it across through Ballard, outside to Alberts. Goes behind Warren. And Aaron Roberts there and he runs back for it. Alistair Warren's driven backwards in good defence there. On Darren Cawthorn. He goes across field there. He takes one of the Ballards there and drives in the ground. Great defence there. And Jackson, I'm sorry it was. Mark Jackson. Cross field it goes there. Oh, great defence there. Who was that? Danny Arthur. And a big hit there. Cross field it comes there. Ballard goes, works the block, works the open side. He's got Robertson come outside him. Oh, and Moore's dropped it again. Can you believe it? Moore's dropped it again. He's had a shocker, this Jared Moore. He would have lost the ball 14 times out of 15. And that man, White Shoes, Mr. White Shoes, Coco Wilson. Down the middle he comes, the big fellow, and set upon there is uh, Rossi Matthews by the longest defence. Open side through Liam Borson from power. Out, outside the Noli bash it. He works the open side. Oh, it comes at Albert. And Albert says, come here, son. Bashford takes. Open side through Bashford. 
Basher down the middle, looks for an open, still going, Basher at the fullback. Ballard comes at him and wraps him up. He's caught about 12 metres inside Longridge Territory. He'll play back to Power. Power gets it away to Clifford Bond. A little chip over the top. In behind Aaron Robertson, the co. Uh, sorry, Lawrence and co. And he takes a tackle though. More from dummy half. He's quick off the mark. This fella don't give him an inch's break. Down the middle he goes. Falls over one or two. Way it goes across uh, Williams here. Oh, taken well by Wilton. And Kago Wilson said, here's a don't argue, Dennis. <laughs> Remember the bite, son. Well, here's one for the kisser. He's got a beauty, Some of these fellas have got long memories. <laughs> and some concern here for the injured player. Clifford Bond is there. No, he's back to his feet. He won't anything destroy this for him. And a penalty is. A penalty has been given here to Longridge. And Albert's here to fine touch. And finds touch, no worries at all there. <laughs> and we'll see play come on, Lawrence should come up with it again. Robbie Goodger, down, down the middle goes Robbie Goodger. And a great run by Rob. He ducks out of one or two, still going. And Bellard says, come here, son, what are you? Yellow belly, I can't catch you. He'll throw a big one out, power to Liam Balls and finds Clifford Bond out wide. Throws a pass to Harry Butcher. Cuts back inside Moore and wrapped up by Moore and Cohen. Finished off there. Moore, Lawrence it was who wraps him up as well. Here's the brick down the middle, comes the brick. And a good run there, gains a few more metres. Number half is uh, Woods, gets across there. To Bashford. Big Noel Bashford on the boil. Tries to get his hands free. Gets a pass to his brother. And the referee says, it's gone forward. Here, yeah, Joe, have a bit of a talk there for a while, mate. <laughs> Can't understand that decision there from Victor Anderson. Bashford, Bashford turned around to pass to his brother. We've got the linesman coming on now, making a replacement for Longreach. Uh, the number 14 takes the field. Uh, Ned Walker replacing uh, Andrew Egan, I believe, in the second row. Canterbury's through in the Sydney Sydney Grand Final. They're there. They're the first starter. So Canberra, Canberra will see him in a fortnight after 20 minutes of extra time. Meanwhile, back to the local game here. Longridge got a bit of a roll on. I don't know whether Bark all were on side then, but who really cares? Oh, I think it's a miracle pass. Gets away there from Wass. Wass unloads it, and then he gets thumped there by the Bark all in defence in uh, Bashford and uh, Young Caulfield. They go two passes wide now. It's out to the number 10, Andrew Jones, and no one really likes him, and he's stumped pretty well too there by the number 15 in Robbie Goodger. He'll get up and play it back to Jackson. Jackson looks around. No one really wants it here for Longridge. 14. Oh, he spelled the pill. They don't, they don't want anything to do with this game now, Longridge. They've thrown the towel in. They've thrown the towel in. They're not, they're not concerned at all. We've got a barky player down with cramp, and you can't blame him. They've had to play it 100 miles an hour. And here we go. Coco Wilson. Oh, he's been upended. Oh, there might be still some fight left in these Thompson Tigers, but we doubt it. He gets up, plays it back to uh, Power. Power goes two passes wide now through Balderson to Nolly Bashford. He hits a bit of a half hole, but he's pulled down there in the longest defence of Ballard underneath. And uh, who is it? Roberts Lawrence over the top. Uh, it comes now to Nolly Bashford once more, is it? No, Robbie Goodger. Robbie Goodger. He'll get up and play it back now to Power. I think that's the third, fourth tackle, I'm not quite sure. Ballison dummies inside to one, and then he turns around. He's still got his hands free, but he can't unload. Alberts wraps it up in the end there. Fifth and last, fifth and last has been called from the referee, Mr. Anderson. He's, Ballison will get up, play it back to Woods. Woods, oh, he's made a meal of it. Longridge have picked it up. No, what's the referee said here? What's he going to rule? He's got to be offside, has he? No, he's ruled a changeover. Well, I can't really understand that one. The Longridge player had the ball in the first place, but it's an advantage to bark all in good decision, sir. So. It comes now to Ballard. Ballard gets it out to Williams as the prop forward. He steps around one. He looks to unload. He gets it out now to uh, the number four in Longridge. Here's Danny Lawrence. Danny Lawrence. Hammered by Buff Arthur, was it? Oh, it wasn't really hammered. He just put him on the ground. He got up again. Uh, here we go. Oh, good stuff there. Underneath Greg Jash and over the top was, who can we see? Harry Budu Belucha. They go now to Jones on the blind side. He's gone through a bit of a half hole and he's going to be over the line, I think. They never numbered up there, Bargall, and well, he does a bit of a victory dance, but they're they're 40 points behind on the scoreboard, and uh, he can have his, he can have his try, but bargall has got the match.
We still have 20 minutes remaining in this game, and uh, I think that Mark Alden will be stung into a bit more action here from that try from Longridge. They were lulled into a bit of a false sense of oh, well, not so much a false sense of security, but they've definitely eased off on their on their pressure, Bark Alden, and Longridge threw some good work, worked the short side, numbered up and uh, found the hole, scored the try in the corner. Uh, the score is now, uh, what is it, 46 points to eight. The kick to come, but uh, I don't think it's going to make a hell of a lot of a difference to the outcome of this game today. And hopefully in the next 20 minutes or the eight, 19 minutes, whatever's left on the clock there, we can see Bark Alden pour on another 60 points to really rub this shit in. Yes, isn't it? Have, and have a look at Daisy Gwena. Vivian Daisy Gwena. <laughs> have a look at her in all her splendour with the leotards. She's off on a kangaroo tour, she tells us, have a look at her. Get her on camera there, John. And Canterbury have picked up the game in extra time, 19-18. Well, there you go. Here we see Clifford Bond to restart. With uh, still about 80 minutes to go. Oh. Ballard gives it back to Moore. Moore goes through one or two there. Takes it back now. It comes to the big fella in uh, Egan. He's wrapped up there in a good tackle by Harry Bleacher and uh, Johnny Power. He'll play it back now. It comes back to Ballard. Ballard's thrown to the ground there by Harry Bleacher. And a good ball and all tackle there. The skipper showing the way. Across the open side, it comes from Ballard, his brother, back to Alberts. Alberts with a run around to Ballard. He cuts out one or two. He comes across to number two and uh, Roberts, Aaron Roberts it was, who's wrapped up underneath, and uh, Michael Haywood. Back it comes now to Jackson. Down the middle he goes and set up on there and throwing to Green. Back it comes here from Ballard. They want to do something too, mate, otherwise we wouldn't, we wouldn't get our money back. Back it comes to Alberts. Alberts puts a kick through and taken by uh, Rob Goodger it was. No worries at all there. Back it comes there, Bashford, fullback, gives it away to Nigel Borson, support the big prop. Down the middle he comes, bumps out a one or two, and take it from behind there. Oh, he's, he's knocked it off. <laughs> but unlucky there, the big prop. <laughs> big Nigel's not impressed there with lo losing that ball in the uh, ruck there, but uh, the referee says we'll have a scrum. Uh, 46 points to 10 it is, with about uh, 16 minutes to go against the feed, Barkle and come up with it, Liam Borson comes away with it, the little halfback, he's set upon by the longest defence there, he'll get up and play it back to John Power at dummy half, plays it back now, across field the open side, Tony, Noly Bash with the big fella, goes across field there, looks for support, still going, gets a pass out the back to Osmond, Osmond lets a pass out to uh, Michael Hayward is in support, he takes a tackle there. He's wrapped up about uh, 28 metres out from the bar, longish line. Across to uh, Power, across to Woods. Shane Woods there in the attack. Dummy half there comes from Johnny Power to Liam Borson. Finds Danny Arthur in support. Big Danny Arthur fires a pass out to Jash out the back. Good support play there. Have a look at the d support of these fellas. He'll play it back here. Danny Bash here, the fullback at the dummy half. Goes across field, finds Power. Power for the line. Oh, he's a metre short. And fifth and last is the referee. And big noise all that pounds of peanuts on this one. Have a look at her. She's got it down. She's got it down. I put money on the big fella going in there. He scored another four-pointer. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Q-Link's just gone in again. That's brought the 50 up. So 50 points to 10. And a soul shattering experience here, but have a look at these fellas. They're still powering on. What a difference a year makes. 15 points, 15 minutes sorry, to go. And Clifford Bond with one of his easiest kicks to, that he's had all day, right in front.
Here's Clifford Bond here. Moves in, strikes it well. And up go the flags, make no mistake. So 52 points to 10 it is. And still about 40 minutes to go in this game. Right in, mate, right in. Anyway, a restart here. Down to Noel Bash there. Takes it well. Runs it across field. And takes it well. About uh, 30 metres out from his own line. Play back now to Johnny Power. Across it comes out here. The big fella and uh, Rob Goodger down the middle he comes. Takes a few with him to the ground. And uh, he's copped a bit of a knee in the back, young Robbsy. <clears throat> Not too good, the young fella. They've called the Nameless on real quick. There's some concern here, shame for the injured player. Bit of a bang dead there on the ground, I'd say. We'll see a scrum go down here and taken away by Ballard. Gavin Ballard comes up with it here. Long which about 30 metres out from the Barky line. And a little half back there, latches on, young Liam Borson. Like bully pup. Crossfield goes to Alberts. Alberts looks for more. Moore's come looking for work. He's not getting enough out in the wing. I can never understand why this fellow's ever been a winger. He'd be one of the best centres around if they ever converted him. Back it comes in infield now with uh, Alberts. Alberts finds runners and Ballard. He's got... Ballard, the other Ballard outside him, he's got to throw it to no one, throw it the winger, has gone forward. He's gone forward and the Longridge crowd down the far end have thought there was for a moment there was a glimmer, a bit of a flicker, but unfortunately the flame went out again and the referee says there'll be a scrum go down. So about uh, 10 or 15 metres out from the Bark Horton line, we'll see a scrum go down. Oh, the referee says play on. In and out, same way we thought, but uh, obviously Ballard's come away then. He's awarded a penalty to Longridge. He's given someone and someone the bin here. If you're going to take someone to the bin, Liam, you want to make it permanent, son. Way it goes across field, and he still can't score. Back inside, they still go. Longridge look for support. And Jackson, I think, scored. Jackson scored. Mark Jackson it was. Good support play there. Well, they had enough ball there, they could have scored 14 tries.
And uh, Warren makes no mistake, the young fullback. So Longwich have added the extras, 52-16 it is. With uh, about 11 minutes to go. Restart here by Clifford Bond, down to Gavin Ballard there. He's got a runner there. And Goodman is it? Egan, Mick Egan. Young Egan is driven backwards. Andrew it is, yeah. He's wrapped up there, ball and all, by uh, Noel Bash and, and Jash. Away goes Jackson from Dummy Arthur, try scorer. He's wrapped up there by Danny Arthur and Kay. Play from Ballard, uh, sorry, Davies from Dummy Arthur. Away to Albus, finds a runner. Find outside to Moore. Moore claps on the pace. Little what's this fella? He can't, she's a shocking pass of a ball. Back to Ballard. Back inside the replacement yeah. player, Davies. Davies don't know where he's going. Oh, and got the beauty there. Oh, Shorty should take a bit of while to get the feet there. Slam dunk to the ground. And it's knocked forward, says the referee. We'll have a scrum go down. Anyway, we see Barkhorn come away from the scrum through, bit off, away from Pound here, picked up by Woods. Ah, uh, Boof, sorry, back in, feel that, that haircut throwing me off again. <laughs> there goes Woodsy this time, he's got it, I've got it right, mate, eventually you've got to get it right. There's only 13 of them out there. Oh, struck out in the play, the ball, can't strike at it, you must strike backwards, not forward. So a penalty to Barkhorn and a relieving kick here. Yeah, it's just still in his hands, you can't strike it. And Clifford Bond here. Young Yankee said, I've got a sore leg here, you better fix it. That tap restart here. Come back to uh, Rossi Matthews down the middle comes the big fella. And underneath there was uh, Jackson and Co. Bring you to ground. He'll play back to Power. Power gets away to Clifford Bond. He's got a runner outside him and Harry Butcher. And Alberts comes in and wraps him up, ball and all. The old boy said, I've copped worse than this, mate. Back it comes to Bashford, bash to his brother, and Noel Bashford busts the line there, still going. He's about 35 metres out. He's had a good game, this fella. Dummy half his power. Away it comes to Danny Arthur. He's got support outside him, and Jash. Jash steps back through. Oh, he nearly threw the tackle there. Referee says, keep coming back long with your offside. Back it comes to Clifford Bond. Out the big Rossi Matthews. Gets on the outside of Davies, but he can't get his arms free, and Albert puts in the ground. He'll play back now. Clifford Bond says, I'll go on my own, then puts a little kick up in the air. And there's a bit of pressure here. See, not a bad looking kick here. Not, no longish fella wants it. Oh, they knocked it forward. What's he really knocked it back? Oh, taking a great tackle there. Oh, now, what do you reckon? He's used an elbow. Well, I've seen better bruises on the grape. And a penalty to Longridge there, and a fine touch back in, Long in Barkhorn's territory. So Longridge with a chance here to string something together again. 52-16 with about six minutes, seven minutes to go. Long as only saving face here. They've all overrun the run the ball, take, the man taking the tap. Have a look at that. Come on, fellas. The Albert's there shaking his head. Here comes the Albert's outside and picks up Moore, Jared Moore. What's he really a forward pass? And the referee made no mistake. Right in front of the Brongle stand, the Ted Seabe stands erupted. It must have been forward. They've never been one-eyed in their lives, those fellas. We'll see a scrum go down, right on halfway. 20 in from touch. And Bark will defeat the scrum here. Three, Clifford Bond will be. Liam Balls and centre the sin bin. Having a bit of a stint there in the bin. And Bashford takes it away from his halfback. The fullback there, set upon by Ballard. Put the ground. He's slowly to his feet, Bash. He's milking a bit of time here. And why not? Back to Woodsy. Woodsy ducks and I want to. He gets a pass at the back to Bashford. Noel Bashford, he's been in everything, this fella. Had a real good game, this bloke. 
one of the better players and Alberts gives him a bit of a slap around for his trouble, but Bashy's equal to it. Where's it? No worries. And back to uh, Bleacher. Bleacher away to Danny Arthur on the boil. The big fella cuts a pass outside to Bashford. Longridge come up with it, I think. Had a bit of a hot potato there for a while. Well, it comes down from Alberts. Gets a run on Williams. Dennis Williams is one of the better tries for Longridge. Very slow in, in the movement at the moment. Shorty Davis trying to get over this one or two there and driven to ground there, boy. Boy, um, Osman and Co. Oh, hit him, hit him, Clifford. And the James boys been sent sent for ten minutes in the bin. Well, a scrum scrum to go down. Seen Longridge had possession. I suppose he's said we'll have a scrum. That's fair enough too. Oh, well, he's brought the crowd to life anyway, young Josie. The Jones boy and Albert says, "Come here, son. I'll run the ball out of here." He plays the ball. Quick play the ball. Gets it back away to Moore. Moore runs across field, finds his brother and Je Kevin. Uh, Kevin Moore. Look, 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 Richard. Richard Moore. <laughs> What's he real here? They're offside, Barkhorn. Long as to the quick start. They go for another scoop. He'll play it back now. Back it comes now, across field. He goes to, uh, B B uh, not Ballard, Davies, a little half back back on the field. Come across field now, comes to Williams. Williams drive for the try line. He's caught short, about five a metre short. Ten metres short. Away it goes from Davies, gets a pass out to, to Jackson. To, who's up there? Ballard. No, out to Alberts. Alberts got support and more. They won't stop this fella, he's in the score. But all to no avail. Alberts giving someone a bit of a smack on the ground. He'd have to be a hero, this fella. Anyway, there's been even a bit of an altercation in there. Alberts was involved with it. He'll be called out, no doubt. Could be sent from the field here. He's hit the player without possession. He's gone. What's he going to do here? What's he awarded? No try? What's he going to rule? Another touch touchdowns across. Well, he's entitled to ask both touchdowns. What's he going to award here? Victory here. Some concern here. He's still interviewing the player. Well, Lee Cronin said something to you. Giving someone some in the bin. He sent Moose to 10 in the bin too.
Anyway, Warren's failed to find, find the goal pace there, and uh, long as you brought up their 20 points, 52 points to 20 it is. But who cares with three minutes to go? You might as well go and piss up in the wind somewhere. It'll blow back in your face. Big Nige has come back into the fray. The boys want to mix it. We'll have to start it. But no, nothing silly here in the last couple of minutes. Here's Gavin Ballard. Drives it over the top. Grabs one or two there. Ballard takes it up at dummy half. Jackson gets the runner here. Cross fielder comes to Egan. Egan ducks in a one or two. Yes. A cross field of Alberts looks for runners. He's got Dennis Williams on the boil here. Taken by Nolly Bashard. Well taken there. The long as can't get anything to work here. The only time they score tries when there's been a few in the bin here. Back it comes now to Nolly Tony Bashard, the fullback, the electrifying Gwena down the middle. The dying seconds of the game, minute and a half to go. Big Nigel says, Give it to me. Get out of the road, Jacko. I'm still going, the big fella. Taken well by Bellard underneath. He'll play it back to Power. Power gets away to Liam Balls and away to Danny Arthur. On the outside, still going big buff. Takes two or three to stop the big fella. And he's taken to Green. Way it goes, they're not. A little bit silly anyway. Apparently the long though, and Buff was marked in the in the tackle there. And Albert says a quick quick tap. What are we gonna do? Oh shit. Anyway, we've had a tinny fall, a little half back, and uh, we see uh, Longridge come away with the now through their half back. They spin it wide through more outside to uh, the centre, and uh, not Warren, what's his name? He's got the card. Roberts. Lawrence, it is. They work the open side now through uh, Ballard, across fields. It comes to the fullback, and Warren, he gets off the ground. There goes Uda, and the Gwinners have done it! He cares what happens now. He cares what happens now. He really cares. Has gone forward and that's it. She's all over 94. The Gwen is a big star in 94. Go out of there. 3-0 today. 3-0, fellas. The start of a dynasty. 52 points to 20. What a game, fellas. What a game. What a game, fellas. In the year of the 75th anniversary of the local league, they've taken out the three major premierships. And thank you to the Lionsmen and Cronin and, and Malcolm Wright and the referee, Victor Anson.
started two years ago, but I believe this year Mark Gordon was struck because we started in the state league. Now Warridge came along with us and the other towns fell in. I believe the state league was the building block for Mark Gordon's effort this year, and that was via the Central West effort. So you guys, probably the best footballers in the Central West all standing around here in front of me and news from the other towns that are here. Get your backside in the gear and make yourselves eligible.